Good evening and welcome to another episode of Six O'Clock Spurs. First up, according to the Evening Standard, we're keen on bringing in Fulham striker Moussa Dembele. Now that's not to be confused with our current midfielder Moussa Dembele, but we want to bring in Fulham's Moussa Dembele. Um, now he's got seven goals in 13 championship starts, so that's pretty decent for a striker. Obviously that is in the championship, but not sure if that would translate into the Premier League. He does look like a good player. He does look like he could potentially play up front um, and take place of Harry Kane when maybe he's not available. It, we do need a striker, that's, that's definite. Um, so would he be a player that could fit into our team? Is he a, someone that you might want in our team? Let us know in the comments section below. Next up, our beloved South Korean midfielder, Hyung Min Song, has said that Spurs asked him not to travel on international duty, despite him saying that he really wanted to go. Um, now, obviously, personally, I would agree with sort of what Spurs are doing. Uh, because I'd wrap him up in cotton wool, who wouldn't? He came on against Anderlecht and assisted Moussa Dembele for his goal. Came on against Arsenal, didn't have his best game, but he looks as if he's slowly getting back to full fitness. Um, and, you know, who wouldn't want to keep him from getting injured? Uh, I certainly wouldn't. Is it something that you would have done? Is it something that, that's fair for the club to do? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Finally, former Spurs midfielder Rafa van der Vaart has opened up about his time at Real Madrid and Spurs. Uh, and he said that he's surprised that Gareth Bale ended up at Madrid. Now, what he actually said uh, was that he felt suffocated under then boss Jose Mourinho, which probably isn't surprising and was eventually told that he wasn't in his plans, which is why he ended up in North London. Um, he said that he had two very happy years at Tottenham, which is what we already know. Um, and he said that he scored, a, even though he scored a lot of goals, 24 in 63 games in fact, he never thought that Bale would end up playing at Madrid. Surprise to us all. Good enough to play for him anyway, we all know that. It was a sad to see him go. Um, but what shocked me probably Obviously, they had a good relationship together, him and Van der Vaart, Bale and Van der Vaart, sorry. Um, he said that Bale isn't like Ronaldo or Messi, that's on another level. Now, sounds like a bit of a thinly veiled dig at Bale. Um, what do you think about that? Do you wish Van der Vaart stayed at the club? I do, I know I certainly do. He seems like, it seemed like he, he went far too early for my, for my liking. Obviously, we'd have loved Bale to stay, but Van der Vaart is definitely a player that I'd have loved to have stayed. So that's it for today's Six O'Clock Spurs. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, or follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On with another episode of Six O'Clock Spurs. I'm here with Jack again. Jack, how are you today? Very good, and you? 